Okay, let's do the, the second problem. So I'm going to start this one off um, by go ahead and typing it in so I can get a look at what it looks like. So the second problem is x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 12. So I'm going to hit graph just to kind of get a look. It looks like it crosses through negative 3, and it goes way up here and crosses through 2. Um, if I wanted, I could um, extend my graph. Um, I think I'm still just going to go by 1s and let my graph kind of go uh, off the page. Now, let's do this. Let's go ahead and find this top value so I can see how tall it is. So I'm going to find that maximum before I plot my point so I know if I need to go by ones or two. So I'm going to hit calculate the maximum. And it says get on the left side. I can't really see the top of this. Let me see if I can find my cursor. There it is. So it must be way up there. I'm trying to get on the left side. Okay, there's the left side. And now it wants me to go to the right side. So I'm going to keep hitting right side until I can see my cursor again. There we go. And then I'm going to hit enter because I don't want to guess. So it looks like this thing's going to go up to about 18.5. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. I found the maximum is at negative 1.3, 18.5. So instead of going by ones on this, I'm going to go by twos. So this was at negative 1, 2, 3. So this would be about right here for negative 3, and it was at 2, so I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to go by 2s on this graph. Okay, so since we found our intercepts, I'm actually going to start with this one, the, the 2, right? That was 2, and this was negative, um, what did we say? I think we said negative 3. Yeah, we said negative 3. So that's 2 and that's negative 3. So I'm going to do synthetic division and try those numbers just to make sure I have 2. Even though we can see them on our calculator on the test, I'm going to make you show me uh, that they actually work. So yep, that works. And then this would factor to x squared plus x minus 6 which would be x plus 3, x minus 2. So what happens is, is I have x equals negative 3. We knew that one. We had x equals 2, and we get x equals 2 again. So that means at the point 2, this thing is just going to touch. When you have a 0 twice, it just touches at that point. So since this is an x cubed, I know that it's going to go down, and it's going to go up for n behaviors. So as x approaches negative infinity, f x is going to approach negative infinity, and as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And I know that, so I know it's got to go up, come back down, and go up again, and since 2 happens twice, it has multiplicity 2, that's going to be a turning point, and we've talked about that before. The only thing I had left to find was the um, to put my maximum in, and we already found that was at negative 1.3 up here at 18, so that was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. It was about right here, and it kind of goes something like this. Now, this is my maximum. What's the minimum? The minimum happens right here at the 0, so the minimum is at x2, y2. Zero. Anytime you have a turning point, that actual zero is going to be your maximum minimum, and you don't have to find that on the calculator.